Hello everyone, my name is Petro and in this video I'm going to show you how you can turn your NVMe M2 hard drive into an external hard drive. So the first thing you're going to need is to buy one of these products called SSD enclosures online. Uh, I bought, uh, I bought this specific one from eBay and it's called Bazos uh, or Bozos. Again, I'm not entirely sure if you would prefer it in that way. Uh, this specific one uh, costed me 17, between 17 to 18 pounds, but you should be able to see uh, the post ad any second now. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, unbox the actual product itself and then I'm going to show you how, how, to, assemble, uh, how to assemble the NVMe into the SSD enclosure. So let's see, uh, I'm going to show you how the box would look uh, from the outside. Uh, so we can see the actual product itself, as, uh, as already mentioned, the brand name, a sticker with some other information. And if I put, uh, put it some, uh, slightly closer, you can see it says full speed series SSD enclosure. The one I have uh, is a type, uh, the Type-C USB version, but you can get one with a micro USB to a normal USB if you wish. I'm not sure what the what the sign with the number 8 would mean. Uh, it does say fast transmission compatible with multiple systems, so you should be able to use it with uh, Windows or Mac. On the sides, uh, there's no information on the sides, neither on the top uh, or on the other side as well. Now, uh, nothing at the bottom. In the back, you should be able to see how the product actually would look like uh, once, uh, once, uh, once it's connected to the laptop or a, or a different device. Now, if I were to uh, put closely the box, you should be able to see some technical information. Uh, it does specify that the material is made out of aluminium. And one, more, one uh, piece of information that you need to pay very close attention, uh, which I'll point right now, is, uh, is where my finger is pointing. It does say which version of uh, NVMe M2 uh, will be applicable with this specific product. And it actually indicates the B key, the M key, or the B and M key. Now, what they mean by that is, for example, uh, this specific NVMe M2 I have here, you should be able to see a gap there and a gap here. Now, the gap on the left is called B, uh, B key, and the gap on the right is called M key. So you can have either or one of them or both of them. So you need to make sure which one you have in order to buy the, uh, to buy the correct enclosures. So in my case, I was lucky because I didn't realize there is a different types of uh, NVMe M2 hard drives. So just pay attention when you're buying one of these enclosures uh, to buy the correct one. And again, I will show you that later uh, once, uh, once we have done the unboxing. So there's no other information uh, except some contact information at the bottom. So uh, the box itself is very solid. I don't know if you can hear, but there is no, there's no movement. Uh, it's coming out of the box so if I were to open it uh, usually usually you'd open it from the top and had the sticker but I removed the sticker uh, just to check it prior uh, prior to opening so if I were to open it from the top uh, you'd remove the sticker from the bottom and then this would slide out uh, this is what the outer box looks like and this is the, the inner box now there's some graphics at the front you would pull this uh, towards the top and we can see the actual product itself and in this side on the top uh, this should be the instructions manual so it should be in that pocket right there and from what you can see is the, the user manual or the instructions manual as well so I'm going to leave this on the side uh, the way to get the actual product itself out you can easily just pull it uh, either side or you can actually uh, pull up the, uh, the piece of paper that is here and this will lift it up uh, this is the product itself I'm going to leave that uh, on the side just for a second and then if I were to take the other pieces from the inner box uh, we can see another box at the bottom and again there is a piece of paper here and if you were to lift this up this would be the last uh, item in the actual box itself now if I were to open this one this would be the, the Type-C to Type-C cable this is the version I, I bought but again you can take it with a micro USB uh, to a normal USB uh, output there's, that option is there as well. Uh, the, cable is, uh, the cable itself uh, is not that, that very long. But it's very strong. Like even if I used to, pull, uh, to put some force in it, it's definitely really strong. So you can tell that this specific one 
the reason I bought the specific one is because it feels more premium uh, compared to the other uh, SSD enclosures out there in the market. Now, the first thing is you are able to see a sticker here at the front which explains uh, how you'd be able to open the enclosure. So if I were to take this one off and leave that on the side, uh, we can see here some other information on the back. I don't know if you're able to see or the camera able to zoom in. And then it has uh, a slightly arrow which says which is open from this side, which means that uh, this we will need to push that side towards your right, as the stick indicates as well. Uh, the top one is a gloss black finish. The product itself uh, is quite, uh, it's not very light, but it's, uh, it definitely feels like a premium one. So the way you would open this one is if you put your finger uh, at the bottom and your other finger uh, on, the left, on the other side, and then try to push towards the right, you should be able to hear a click and then that's it you have actually opened it and it should be as simple as that now and then you'll be able to lift it up uh, it comes in two parts so the one part will be the lid and the actual part will be the board where you install uh, where you assemble the NVMe M2 now there's a sticker here which indicates uh, which uh, in which uh, way the actual uh, NVMe M2 sits on the actual uh, motherboard here now you should be able to see that it shows in this in this case it shows that this will accept the B key, but that actually will accept the B and M, and but actually will accept both. So this seems to be kind of universal in uh, four different uh, versions of the NVMe M2. So if I were to leave this on the side and look here, you should be able to see uh, that there is four different options, which means uh, you can get have a smaller NVMe, uh, me, uh, a midi one, a large one, and a large one and in length. So it does give you that option and it does have some numbers indicating the length. Now what else also comes with it, uh, you can see in the holes here you get two plastic pins uh, which you can easily remove and these are the pins that will keep the NVMe in place. Now if I were to show you this side, you should, where my finger is pointing you should be able to see that gap and that will be the actual gap uh, that you indicate that the, B, that the BQ will go, will go in that, in that space uh, there but it also will accept the B and M key because there is no uh, there's a gap here but there is no there is no plastic uh, stopping it from actually being installed so if for example you have just if you only have just an M key and not a big gap or a big key here the, this uh, closure wouldn't fit it the way you would the way you would put uh, the NVMe uh, inside inside the enclosure itself is you'll keep the enclosure flat and about 20 degrees uh, or slightly lift it up uh, you should be able to put it in the in the position uh, where the where I showed you here and now what you're going to do you need to push it slightly very softly do not use force if you use force there's a possibility that you are going to damage it so once I do that if I show you closely you should be able to hear a click It didn't, it, didn't, it didn't make the noise, but it did go, it did go in there. So what you're going to, uh, to do is, this will, be, uh, this will stay lifted up. So what you're going to do is just push it down. Try to actually put, uh, put it in, in the same area where the actual hole is. And you'll take one of the plastic pins and try to put it in there. It should be fairly simple. Uh, you don't need to use force. Just, just follow the instructions as simple as that. And then once it's there, uh, your point, you should uh, turn the pointing side towards, uh, towards the inner side so it keeps the, the NVMe in one place. And this is it pretty much. You have, they have actually, uh, you have actually assembled it. What you need to do is you need to put uh, the lid back again. And again, you should be able to see here uh, some gaps on the sides and also uh, some gaps here at the bottom. And if you're going to see the lid, these ones should match where the gaps are. So if I were to turn it this way and put this on the top, they will feel exactly, they will fit exactly in place. So all you got to do is slide this on your left hand. You'll hear a click and that's it. You manage it. That's all, that's all you need to do. From unboxing to, assemble, to do the assembly, it only takes a few minutes. And it's as simple as that. And once, uh, and once you have it ready, you'll plug in the cable, depending on which version you have, and then you'll plug that to the computer. Uh, I have already tested this one and it's working absolutely fine for the specific MVME I have, which is the B and M key. Now you need to make sure uh, to check that you have uh, that the one you have will accept will accept the the one that you already have in, 
uh, that you already have in place. Uh, one, thing, one thing to pay attention here is that the actual enclosure itself costs between 17 to 18 pounds. But what I paid, what I paid for uh, my NVMe M2, I paid around 20 pounds. So both of them would cost in the region of 37 pounds. Now the NVMe X uh, itself has a capacity of 128 gigabytes. Now you can buy roughly around the area of 20 pounds, you can buy in a, fl a flash, uh, flash storage USB stick, which can have up to 128 gigabytes as well. Again, I'm not entirely sure if it would be a, a good or a good investment uh, compared uh, compared to a flash drive. That would be your decision uh, to make. But if you were to have a higher capacity NVMe that you would like to turn to into an external hard drive, uh, you'll, it's definitely worth the investment. And one more thing that I forgot to mention is that uh, this one here that looks like a kind of a star, uh, that's that would be a, a light, and that would indicate either, uh, either I I believe would indicate a blue light when the when the actual external hard drive is connected to the computer. Again, it's as simple as that. It takes only a few minutes from uh, from the unboxing to the assembly. As long as you're careful, uh, you follow the instructions, you shouldn't have any issue at all. Uh, but please do pay attention on when you're buying one of them to make sure that it's compatible uh, with the NVMe you have. Again, thank you for watching the video. Uh, do press the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more content. Until next time, have a nice time.